everybody, Noreen here. I've got a digital demo for you today. First of probably many with the Creative Memories new digital artwork. I've had a lot of questions from customers and my online friends, um, you know, asking how can I use this digital artwork if I don't do digital scrapbooking, if I don't have a digital scrapbooking program. So today I want to show you how you can use the artwork in just a regular word processing program. You can see that I'm using Microsoft Word. This will also work in a Google Docs and I think it will work in a Mac Pages program as well. Any kind of program where you can insert a picture. All right. You can see that I've got nine little tags on here and I decided to do this project because I Valentine's Day is coming up and uh, you know my boys will need their little treat bags and the Kleenex treat bags um, and so I thought it would be fun to show you how to make some digital tags that you can print out on your computer cut out with your you know paper cutter and a uh, little hole punch and have those ready to go for your kids treat bag so I've got nine on here let's open up a new document and I will show you how to make these. So you can see that we've got an insert tag uh, tab here. So we're going to click on insert and pictures. Now, this is obviously coming right up to my Mia Moore artwork from Creative Memories. But once you've purchased the artwork and downloaded it onto your computer, you'll want to save it somewhere where you can find it easily. For me, it's probably not the best practice, but for me, I keep it in a folder on my desktop. And inside that folder, I have multiple folders, for one for each collection. So here's my Mia Moore folder. I go into the elements, and then I'll open it up. If you're not seeing your images when you go and click through to that, you may not have extracted it. So make sure, again, once you've purchased, downloaded, and saved your artwork, make sure you extract it from the zip file so that you can see all the images. And you can see lots of different things that you could use, but I'm scrolling all the way down here to this lovely little tag. Just simply click on it and select insert and it will pop it onto your document. Now it's too big. It doesn't have any borders around it. And I also want to add some text to it. So I'm going to show you a few tricks to working with pictures in a, inside a word processing document. You're going to right click on the image and then near the bottom of the menu that pops up there's going to be three things we're going to use. We're going to use the wrap text, size and position, and format. First thing I always do is choose wrap text tight. This simply lets me move the image around my page uh, and it's not constricted. It's not set on a specific point. The next thing I want to do is change the size. When you open up size and uh, you'll see that you can uh, choose the height and the width and this little uh, checkbox here lock aspect ratio if I change that to three it will automatically resize the width measurement to be in proportion so you can either just you know choose your size and um, let it readjust itself proportionately or if you've got a specific size that you want just deselect lock aspect ratio and then you can enter both the height and the width that you want all right, so there's the size that I want. The last thing I want to do in terms of formatting this is add a border around it. Right now, it's just a transparent image. There's no background. So again, right click, format picture, and you can see you can add reflections and edges and artistic effects. I'm really just concerned about adding a solid line. I'd like it to be black so I can select the color. And usually about 1.5 is the font size or point size of the line that I want. So there we have it. There's the tag that I want to use. It's the right size, it's been formatted, I can play with it and do all kinds of things with it. Now I want to add my text. I want it to say Happy Valentine's Day from Sam. Pretty short and sweet, okay? We're going to go to Insert, and this time we're going to choose Text Box. And again, lots of different styles of text box. I'm going to choose the simple text box. And I can just simply start typing my, oops, typing my message. And then I can format my text. Okay, so I've got Happy Valentine's Day from Sam. I'd like it to be, hmm, I think I used Harrington in my example. There we are. A little bit bigger, size 12. I'd also like it to be centered. 
and I want it to be that nice sort of cherry red. I could even make it bold if I like. All right, so that will stand out a little bit more. Now, as much as I wanted a border around my image, I don't want a border around my text. So we're going to just size that down a little bit. And then we want to right click on it and you'll, you'll see these little pop-ups up here. We want no outline. And that will just make it transparent so that it can be moved wherever. I have to squeeze that in a little bit. Adjust it with our arrow keys till we're happy with it. So I like that. I think that looks good. There's my tag and my text. Now I'd like to make nine of these on my page. And I don't want to have to, you know, juggle the text around each time. So I'm going to join or group the image and the text. So I'm going to select the image, hold my right shift key down, and then select the text. Once both of them are selected, I'm going to right click and go to group. And now the text and the image are one. And again, I can move around, move it around without you know the text and the image separating. I can cut and copy and paste and do all those kind of things very easily. So right click, copy, just have to copy once, and then we're gonna paste eight more times and just arrange them on the page. I like to try and keep them you know fairly level, fairly uh, you know aligned because that way it makes the cutting easier once you've once you print them off. Okay, and you can click and drag it with your mouse, or you can adjust it when you get to the little finer adjustments using the arrow keys. That still isn't quite right. There we go. All right, paste again. And again, some of you might be more control V, control, uh, control C, control V type, type of gals. That's fine, however you wanna do it. I'm just right clicking, copying, and pasting. And I do appreciate that it's got some guidelines. The green lines that pop up kind of give you a visual uh, reminder of where everything's going to go. Just a couple more here. When I print these, I like to print them onto um, a cardstock so that they're a little bit thicker than just a regular photocopy paper. I just print them on my color copier or color uh, printer at home. And then I'll just take my. Um, 12 inch trimmer and a little hole punch so that I can cut each one of these out, attach it to the treat bags, and I'll be done. So hopefully you get to get some good ideas for how you could use this sort of uh, digital artwork in non-digital spot booking projects. Okay, I hope you give this a try and I hope you join me for more digital demos. Thanks very much for stopping by.